Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I'm going to do a quick tutorial here on Echo Boy. This is a plugin made by uh, Sound Toys. It is so awesome. I use this almost in every single mix. I actually think I stole that quote from Dave Pensado, um, and I see why he does. Um, it is an amazing delay unit and, and reverb unit. It's, from what I understand, it's been modeled and impulse response off of all of these famous reverb and delay uh, analog boxes. So it's like you have thousands of dollars of equipment within one little plugin. And what it also does is it kind of saturates uh, with harmonics in a nice pleasing way. So it gives it that analog feel, that analog warmth. Um, I'm not going to go too deep because uh, this plugin is really, really deep. I'm going to give you the basics. So to start off, uh, this is a sketch. Uh, this is the unfinished version. Um, of a Halloween remix I did. This is just the sketch on my laptop. Uh, to hear the full version, you can go to my uh, and find the, the full mix um, in my remix playlist. But here's, we're going to be focusing on this dialogue that I took and I started to mix. I'm, I've got different reverbs and EQs. So here, let me play this back for you. What we're going to be focusing on is where he's saying, Michael, we've got some people who'd like to meet you. I eventually turned that into um, a melody and harmonies and pitched this all up and added vocoders and stuff. But for right now, um, we'll just focus on my use of Echo Boy at, at its beginning stages. So over here, I've got three different sends. Um, one going to a reverb, one going to another reverb, and then finally this one going to Echo Boy. I'm going to go ahead and shut these off and just solo um, Echo Boy so you can hear what's happening. So again, I've got a send going into this um, uh, plugin. So let's play this. Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. Michael. I've got some people who'd like to meet you. Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. So you hear what it's doing. It's adding all that, that delay sound that you're hearing, that echo. Um, it looks like I just pulled up Space Echo um, as a preset. These are where the presets are, and just tweaked from there. Um, for sake of speed, um, when you're in the creative zone, I like to just pull up a, a preset or go through a couple presets to find the ballpark and then tweak from there. So, but to break it down um, from, say you want to start from scratch, you want to start over here. Uh, this is the mode which changes the controls of the unit. So you want to decide whether you want a single unit or, or a single echo, whether you want a, a dual echo, a ping pong, and a rhythm echo. That's the basics. So if we start, let's say, with single echo. Oh, and one thing to note, if you notice the right hand side, this module over here and this module doesn't change, just this. So, um, so once you select this over here, if you look over here to the right, um, you've got something called, or you've got your input, which is the volume coming into the plugin, and then you've, your output, which is the, the volume going out. So it's just volume control. Um, now, if you if you drive this input higher, it's going to add a little bit of harmonic distortion, um, and this little saturation guy adds the effect of the saturation and the harmonic distortion. So, here let's let, let's I'll play it back. You feel it. You feel it. You feel it. Feel it. You feel it. You feel it. You feel it. Feel it. You feel it. You feel it. You feel it. Feel it. You feel it. You feel it. You feel it. Feel it. You feel it. You feel it. It's almost adding. It's almost acting as a as a wet dry button, but it's a little bit different than that. It almost makes it sound fatter. So right below that is this drop down menu, which shows the different types of echoes and the different types of delay. Um, I generally don't mess with this. Um, I usually start with the preset and just kind of tweak. But if you want to go deep and just really pick your, you know, your FM radio, your shortwave, the different types, you can do that here. Now, over here, which again is dictated by the type, whether you have a single echo, a dual echo, ping pong, 
So we'll start with single echo. You've got this mix button, which is your dry or wet, meaning if it's wet, it's 100%, it's got more of the effect. If it's dry, you're not gonna hear the effect at all. Um, feedback is very similar to the mix dry, uh, the mix dry and wet, meaning the more you add, the more of the effect you're going to hear and notice, and the less you add, um, the less of the effect. But it's a little bit different because it's actually feeding back and looping back, almost like a guitar feedback. So if you turn it all the way up, it's gonna actually just turn into noise, which can be kind of cool if you wanna say automate this. Um, and let me show you this real quick. I'd like to meet you. Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. You feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it. So if you notice, um, these two buttons kind of mess with how powerful or how how much mix or how much delay you have. So the mix and feedback are a little bit different, but once you start toying around with them, um, you'll you'll get the hang of it. This echo time is literally um, the timing of the delay. Every time it repeats, it's going to be on an eighth note. And if you move it to the right, it gets slower, meaning it's going to a half note. To the left is turning it, making it faster, or going to a 32nd note. And if you actually hit this time button, it gives you, rather than keeping it in sync with um, the project, you actually can control it in milliseconds. And this is useful if you want the delay to stand out, you're not hearing it enough. Well, if you make it off time, it's not going to be covered up by a drum beat or a hit, or it'll just kind of stand out in the mix. Sometimes that's what you want. This dot literally adds a dot to your note. So it's a, you know, a dotted 32nd note or a dotted 16th note. Um, kind of makes it off rhythm a bit. It's still in time, but it's not on the actual beat. It's on the off beat. Same with this triplet. It'll turn your notes, the delay notes, into triplet timing. Um, and one thing I forgot to mention here is over here in the center, to control the timing over here, if this MIDI button is turned on, it's automatically going to sync with your project tempo. So you don't have to think about the timing. But if you uh, don't know, say you're you know, remixing another track or you're trying to time some drum samples that you brought in, and you don't want it to sync with your project tempo because you don't know the tempo of the actual WAV file, you turn this off and you can use something called tap tempo, where as you play back with the track, you can tap this in time and it'll guesstimate what the BPM of that track is. And that's how you can line up the, the tempo manually. Um, now back over here to the left, you've also got this low cut and high cut uh, knobs. And what this is, is basically a low pass and high pass filter. Um, there's something called um, the Abbey Road mixing technique, I believe. And that's when you have a delay or a reverb, you, low off, you roll off the low end and the high end, and it leaves most of your mid-range in on the delay without muddying your mix on the lows and the highs. So um, as you bring this up, it's going to roll off more of the lows, and as you bring this up, it's going to roll off more of the highs. So if you're going quick and dirty, you can put your mix you know, right up the middle, put your feedback right up the middle, low cut right up the middle, high cut up the middle, and then just kind of mess with your, your timing. Um, now, if we look at the dual echo, same kind of thing, but the, 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 the controls have changed. You've now got two different uh, timing meters. Your mix button is still going to do the same. Your feedback is still going to do the same, even though they're in different locations. The low cut and high cut is the same. But you can control your first echo timing and your second echo timing. And another you know, common one is to make, say, uh, like an eighth, or, or let's say like an eighth note and a half note, or so you basically set different timings so they come out, they time at different times. Here, I'll play it for you. Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. 
Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. You feel it. You feel it. You feel it. Feel it. You feel it. You feel it. Hear how on the f you're hearing two different echoes with different timings. Um, one thing I like to do is, you know, start with like a quarter note and then just double it up to an eighth note. And you, uh, it kind of sits nice in the mix. Now, if we change it to ping pong, same kind of thing. You've got two different controls. Um, it's just a little bit different. It's ping and pong as opposed to echo one and echo two. But all the other, all the controls are pretty much the same. And then if we go to rhythm echo, um, you can control your timing here with the rhythm again. Um, you've got your mix button, same. Feedback is basically the same. And you've got your low cut and high cut. Um, this one's a little bit more complicated because you can mess with the repeat amounts um, and the shape and the decay. Here, let me just show you some tweaking here. Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. So what it's doing is we're telling it to repeat eight times or 12 times. And then the shape means this looks like it's going to repeat the same, it's going to repeat 14 times and have the same volume, but you can make it kind of disappear gradually if you bring the shape up here. You feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it. Similar to your feedback button here. If we turn that up, you'll hear it even more. Feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it. And that, folks, is this broken down as quickly as I can. Um, usually when I'm put into um, high pressure mix situ situations, I tend to go in here and use their presets. Like if it's a vocal, um, I'll go in and I'll just start, I'll loop a section, you know, and... Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. I'll just kind of play Michael, through these. Michael, I've got some people who'd like to meet you. You feel it, you feel it, you feel it, feel it, you feel it. And once I find something I like, you know, look at all these different things. This is just the fastest way to go about it. Once I find something I like, then I go in and say, okay, do I really want to delay that, that loud in the mix? Do I want more or less? Um, do I want to tweak the timing a bit? Um, I usually bring up the low cut and the high cut to make it sit in the mix a little bit better. Sometimes I'll add less saturation or more saturation. And then you can control the volume. Um, and mess with the groove and the feel. Uh, but yeah, folks, this is a really, really great delay, and it just always sounds awesome. Everything from Sound Toys is amazing. Um, and if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave it in the comments below, and I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.